So going into New Game Plus, you lose basically all progress, meaning you have to start again. But you can be prepared for this, which is what I can hopefully help you with today. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. But before we go any further people, a friend of mine, an old school friend of mine, has just dropped a game, a new game, which I want you to check out. It's called It's On You. What's good man? What's good? Hi yo, check this one out here. You see this app here? It's easy. This one's different my guys. Now it's on you is a narrative driven FMV game where your choices actually matter and change the outcome. Growing up in a rough inner city, stuck between his future and his past, you play as Curtis in this new interactive urban drama. Like I said, your choices have consequences and you must choose between your friends and your future. Where will your loyalties lie will be tested. Curtis, listen, focus on your football. You've, re you've got real potential. You can do something. You know, think about your family. Think about your mum. Or be with them. Think about where you'll end up. Now, if you would like to check out the game, it is available on Steam as well as Android and iOS, aka Apple, all of which are linked within that video description, along with its very own Instagram account. Do check it out and show it some love, it would be very much appreciated. So once you beat the Elden Beast in Elden Ring, the game gives you an option to start Journey 2 basically new game plus but in doing this you have to give up a few items which will take a ton of time and a ton of grind to get back so today i want to suggest you a few certain things uh, before starting that new game plus also i will mention when you beat the elden beast you don't have to start that new game plus straight away you can continue on with your journey within your current game's progression that's completely fine and you can then go into New Game Plus whenever you want by heading to the round table. Okay, so firstly, on what you keep going into New Game Plus, you keep all of your weapons, your armors, your talismans, your flash levels, spells, sorceries, incantations, summons, emotes, ashes of wars, boss remembrance items, items you have farmed for in regards to crafting. You keep all your map's progression in terms of areas discovered, but graces are gone. You will have to unlock the graces again, but you'll see all the points of interest still there. Now what you lose are great runes, bow bearings, used to purchase things from the twin maiden husks within the round table. You lose keys and medallions to operate things such as the grand lift of Dectus and Rold. You lose all graces on the map, as I said, which you will have to activate a game by going to them. But I also said how the map's bearings and areas will still be there for you to see. You also lose all story progression in regards to quests but everything can be earned again including all rewards you can obviously choose different paths and rewards from remembrances and more guys all this is up for grabs again in new game plus new game plus also offers a bigger challenge in regards to enemies having more health and they hit harder but it isn't said to be that harsh also runes more or less double up in regards to what you earn currently to what you can earn in new game plus so what I recommend you stocking up on guys for sure are those smithing stones and those sombre smithing stones, also grave glove warts and a ghost glove warts. These are used to level up weapons and those summons. Now obviously you can buy unlimited amounts of said items once you have the barbarians for these items, but you lose all your barbarians going into new game plus, so you will have to go and get them again. That means in some instances progressing to more or less the end game areas before you'll be able to buy smithing stones or even a glove warts again so if you have the barbarians for set of items right now you won't have them in new game plus so if i were you i'd stack up on said items use one of those also popular room farming spots and then just head to the twin maiden husks and stack up on as many samba smithing stones one to nines the smithing stones one to nines same with a grave and ghost glove warts stock up buy as many as you can guys and keep them within your inventory because like i said 
you lose the chance, you lose the opportunity to buy these going into New Game Plus. You have to earn and find those barbarians again. And that goes for any other item you have probably purchased that has come from a barbarian. Now, if you do not have the barbarians for the ghost and grave glove warts, nor the stomach smithing stones and the normal smithing stones, you'll find my guides to each linked in the video description, people. So make sure you go and get these barbarians, make sure you farm runes, and make sure you buy as many as you can possibly hold before going into New Game Plus. Because if you find a nice weapon you want to level up and you don't have those smithing stones or the summer smithing stones, or you want to test out a new summon that you found but you don't have the glove warts you won't be able to do it but like i said guys to barbarians can be found within the video description but yeah guys besides the usual i don't think there's much else really important to think about before going into new game plus just think about what i've mentioned in regards to what you lose and if there's something you want but don't have right now make sure you get it prior especially if it's a late game item and there we have it guys just a short but sweet video today hopefully helping somebody out in regards to going into new game plus and not realizing that you can actually lose certain few items which are very important and very helpful so yeah if the video helped you out leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one